What's the matter with you? You've been standing there with a puss on your face all day. Because we're a few days away from Mother's Day. And I have no one. Now, come on, don't give me that. You have a son, you have a daughter, you have a daughter-in-law, you have a grandson. They all exist in the world. Don't act like you got no one just because they ain't gonna visit you on that day. It don't matter. You just said it yourself. No one's gonna be here physically. I'm gonna be alone. How much time do I have left to where no one's gonna come visit me on Mother's Day? How many more Mother's Days do I have? What's today's date? You still got a couple days for your daughter-in-law to decide whether or not she's gonna let you see your grandkid. Don't jump the gun. Maybe she'll change her mind last minute. All right, she seems like a decent person. She can see that you're changing. So come on. She's not bringing my grandson. I'm not even gonna see my actual son. Why am I living? Why am I still here? Why didn't one of you idiots pull the plug on me when I was in the hospital? Ah, come on, I don't wanna hear you talk like that. We don't talk like that. Don't let you, your daughter-in-law and, and your daughter and all these people bring you down and make you feel bad about yourself. Your daughter-in-law is ungrateful, okay? She's got no respect for you. She comes into your family and she disrespects you. She tries to change everything. Don't let her get in your head. You're weak because of what you went through. But don't let her manipulate you into thinking that you shouldn't be alive. Okay, you're a good grandmother. You're a good, you're a good mother. All right? Don't let these ungrateful brats make you think otherwise. That's how my family makes me feel, but I, I see through it. I'm 55 years old. I don't have time to argue with my daughter-in-law about my grandson anymore. So for the rest of my life, I'm just gonna be alone. And every Mother's Day and every birthday and every Christmas and every Thanksgiving, it's gonna pass me by until I go to my grave. The same grave that no one's gonna visit me at either. Ah, you need to stop it. People are gonna visit you in your grave. There's plenty of people that like you. I will visit you in your grave. Hell, I would even, I'd be buried next to you. I don't care. I got nowhere to be buried. I was gonna get cremated. Change your plans, I'll be buried next to you. Why don't you just leave too? I know deep down you don't care about me. You're just like everyone else. You, you use me for whatever you need, just like my son used me until he no longer needed a, a roof over his head or his diapers changed. So go ahead. You've used me enough. If I'm annoying you or dragging you down just like I drag everyone else down, be my guest and go. With all due respect, you need to shut up. You need to stop feeling this way because it's not true. You have people that care about you. Yeah, you're gonna make me say it. I love you, okay? You're not alone on Mother's Day. I think you're a good mother. I think you're a good grandmother, all right? I love you. This is definitely gonna be my last Mother's Day. I'm not making it another year.